you guys read the title and the thumbnail you guys saw everything yes this isn't clickbait we are doing what if saitama faced all might now the reason why i wanted to do this type of what if instead of like a story based one is because one i do do a lot of power scaling i just don't really bring it a lot on the channel and since this is still considered a what if i figured you know what why not try something a little bit different in the what if style and actually do what if versus matches i feel like this could be fun and a little bit interesting to bring to the table so here i am today with anime x whose channel will be linked in the description and today we are going to be doing what if saitama faced all might now for the portions of the video like the saitama portion and the all might portion i will be going over more specifically the saitama portion as x will be going over the all might portion and we are basically going to be doing what death battle does but actually good um but yeah so today we are going to be doing what if saitama faced all might if you guys want more what ifs like this let me know down below i love making these it's fun to make and with that being said, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we will be going over for Saitama is AP. Now the AP is pretty simple. Saitama easily scales to people like Boros, who he's been holding back on, and Boros is able to destroy the planet's surface bare minimum, however I would argue that he's actually even planetary. Reason why is because there's actually a calc that puts the serious punch that Saitama threw at the Star Roaring Cannon at planet level, which will be linked in the description, along with the fact that there is actually a statement for Boros having a latent power that can destroy the entire planet. So with this scaling simply, Saitama should at least be multi-continental to planetary. I'm just going to say planetary for the sake of the video since I do think the planetary scaling is somewhat consistent. Now as for speed, I'm going to be basically scaling him to at least light speed because, well, there are multiple ways you can actually do this. Now, Saitama has a calc that directly puts him at 350 times faster than light, and you guys can go check out that calc link in the description, and credits to Cyber for making it. If you don't want to go with this, you can at least scale Saitama to low FTL based on stuff such as Genos reacting to G4's lasers, which were confirmed to be light, along with Genos being able to keep up with people such as awakened cockroach who's even stated that light speed attacks won't touch him this awakened cockroach gets negged by orochi who saitama easily gets rid of so you could just scale saitama off that and you can also scale him off of flashy flash who has attacks faster than light as for hacks saitama doesn't really have any he's just a strong ass bald ass dude so we're just going to say here that saitama is planet level and well into faster than light 350 times to be exact or over 350 times faster than light. But anyways, we will now go into All Might scaling, and by we, I mean Anime X. So he will now take over, and at the end, we will basically go over who is going to win and what the match is going to go down like. So now let's get into the All Might portion. Take it away, Anime X. All right, guys. Now, just like Ty said, obviously we're gonna be scaling All Might and Saitama and basically be pitting them against each other. Now, my role in this video is to take the, the side of All Might and basically be scaling him. Now, the first thing that I want to get into is AP. Uh, for all of these people, for Saitama and All Might alike, we are going to be using calcs and we can't really use inverse scaling since we're going to be doing crossverse uh, like debating. So, uh, the first thing for All Might is a calc. All these things will be linked in the description below, I'm sure. Uh, is a calc for All Might's storm smash basically the smash that he does when he saves um bakugo and deku from the slime monster that is actually calced out to be about anywhere from island level to uh, uh like there, there's some calc from island level to even like large mountain level that's the range so that's about what all might could be I, I think large mountain is on the lower end with um island level being on the higher end for his ap uh there may be some some scaling or some calcs floating around that's about country level like if you say that he's a certain level if in prime if you multiply the power that he has here by a certain number you could get country level um but just for the sake of this video we'll say anywhere from island level to country level is all might's max in terms of his ap um in terms of speed it gets a little bit more complicated just because you have to scale all might off of other characters um although the calc isn't that it's not that extensive so first we have to scale mirio mirio reacts to aoyama's naval laser which is uh, kill confirmed speed of light um we have multiple like indications that it's light 
13 actually makes basically a, a quote saying that he can uh, absorb light uh, in reference to Aoyama's laser. And we also just know that, um, like, just basically that Aoyama makes reference to him being able to reflect and refract this light in any way, shape, or form. And since those are basically the prerequisites for light, we just assume that his lasers are light. Now, we do see that Mirio is actually able to react to Aoyama's naval laser and able to phase through it in reaction to this. This is actually calced out to be a certain level faster than light. I think it's, like, anywhere from, like, 1 to 10 times faster than light, just barely... Uh, being underneath uh, FTL plus Deku in 20% is actually stated to be as fast as Mirio right but his movements are just too linear and that's why overhaul is able to dodge him right but Deku is should be relative in terms of speed to someone like overhaul or even Mirio right we do see that uh, just Deku's like his linearity is just what keeps him slow and what makes him basically ineffective in combat obviously 20% Deku should not scale to a prime all might which is what we're using for this video so you could just say at bare minimum, Prime All Might should be at least 10 times faster than Light. And you could try to push it higher to like FTO Plus. Although just using the calcs that we've prepared for this video and we have for this video, he should be about 10 times faster than Light. Just barely under FTO Plus. Now for All Might's moveset, hacks, whatever you want to call it, he doesn't have too much uh, that doesn't rely on sheer power and speed. He does have his other, like, his multitude of smashes, Carolina, North Carolina, smashes, California. He has all that good stuff, the Detroit smash, but those really are just different moves that rely on, like, strength and the speed, right? So that, that, I don't really consider that too much of hacks. If you were to look into all my attacks in general, the best thing that he has, I think you could argue for him, is that he has fate manipulation. He has the ability to manipulate and change fate, right, through his, um, through his power and through one for all. Uh, we do see this in his fight against all for one that he actually has the ability to change fate with punches right although i would say that you know all might can't just win any fight because he changes fate right i think this does have to have to limit to anybody that he scales to right for example all for one and him were pretty relative when all might was putting everything into his punches or as he said putting his back into it so i do think that all might should just in general have fate manipulation on the level or at the potency that he himself can output which we've put at max country level here just keep that in mind so to quickly recap all might has slight fate manipulation uh at, at most country level but you know we have the count for island level um ap and then we have speed about 10 times faster than light if you scale him off of mirio overhaul and 20 percent deku which considering where he's at in the verse he should definitely just outscale everyone like he just he should just have solidified scaling that puts him at that level so now that I've basically scaled all I need to for All Might and giving you guys all the information that you need, just a quick going over durability, I guess since I didn't touch on it too much, um, All Might's durability should just scale to his AP, right? Seeing how he doesn't harm himself from his own punches. Uh, so we should, you know, just see that all, all Might's AP and durability should scale relative. So island level to country level durability as well as AP. But moving on, uh, Ty, you can take it from there. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Alright guys, but in all seriousness, if you guys want me to answer the question, who wins? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. We have Saitama, who is a multi-continental to planetary level character, well into FTL+, plus, and overall just a lot more powerful than someone who is island to country level and only barely FTL+. Plus. Even if you try to say that All Might is well above Mirio and you potentially bring me a higher speed feat than the ones that Anime X and I brought, well then that's fine. However, I don't think even if All Might had the speed advantage, he wouldn't have the AP to compensate and he would eventually just run out of stamina and Saitama would just one shot him. At best, his fate manipulation might just help him last in the fight a lot longer, but honestly, it's just a massive stomp in Saitama's favor, and I don't see All Might coming out on top in the slightest. So even if All Might has fate manipulation and he has the speed advantage, the durability and AP gap would just be too much in Saitama's favor, and All Might would just eventually wear himself out. And if you want to go with the natural scaling that me and X presented, well, Saitama would just blitz and one-shot All Might pretty easily. So yeah, guys, sadly, if Saitama and All Might were to encounter, Saitama would just blitz and one-shot, and with the benefit of the doubt given to All Might, he would just eventually wear himself out, and Saitama would just one-shot him regardless. So yeah, the winner goes to Saitama with low difficulty. 
with that being said everyone hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys want to see more what ifs like this like what if this character fought this character let me know down below and let me know some matchups if you have a problem with the scaling me and x presented you can debate either of us in my discord server i'll link it down below and i'll link all the calcs that were used below to credit those users thank you for those calcs and with that being said thank you guys for watching the video once again also be sure to go check out anime x down in the description my name is ty learn peace out bye Thank you.